Thank you, Bishop. Well, it is my pleasure to present the Harry Denman Evangelism Award for Adult Laity to Ms. Dana Phillips. Dana is a member of Treats United Methodist Church and has been able to bring people into life transforming relationships with Jesus Christ through her remarkable lay ministry there. She has worked to organize and lead small group ministries at Treach, but it is her innovative use of social media during COVID-19 social distancing that allows her to encourage others through scripture, devotion, Bible study, and online worship. Treach senior pastor, Reverend Daniel Humbert says, he has been particularly impressed with the frequency and capacity with which she has used digital technology throughout the pandemic to introduce people to Jesus and to invite people into a growing relationship with him. We agree. Now let's hear a word from Dana. That those of us who have known how much God has done for us have not just a responsibility, but a real desire to share that with other people. Okay, so basically, I am an older senior boomer who loves social media. So I love Facebook, I love Zoom, I love Instagram. I, you know, I love all that stuff because I'm a real social person. And um, way before COVID hit, I saw the opportunity for Facebook, especially to be a place where you know I could talk to people who aren't necessarily attached to a church, who aren't going to a church. And uh, one of the first things I did way back, like five, six years ago, is we did a Bible study in a Facebook group, and it was a blast. We had posts, we had conversations, we had comments from people all over the world. Um, I was just doing it because, out of an outflow, and then I started saying, God, what do you want me to do intentionally about it? And so in our life group, when COVID hit and we did it, on Zoom. Um, I also organized some other Zoom prayer meetings for people, not just from our church, but, you know, from all over the country. And we had prayer meetings on, on Zoom. And, and I just began to say, how do you want to use me, God, in this? Then as our church started doing more stuff digitally, I got really excited because I was able to share it. You know, and honestly, I, the production value was really great. The message was really great. But there were people who were really, especially during COVID, really hungry to um, have that connection with God. And, um, I've seen people who, just because of our little groups together, have been baptized. People who have tithed, who've never tithed before. They never gave to the church before. Um, it, some people, oh, this was like an amazing thing. This one lady said, I have never read the Bible where do I start? And at what started to be kind of a reaching out gave so much fruit that I thought I need to keep doing this. So watching people grow in their relationship with Christ, I decided to be much more intentional about doing more on Facebook, doing more in Facebook groups, doing more on Zoom and small group meetings with folks. Thank you, Dana. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. I'm also pleased to announce the Denman Award for Youth goes to Miss Haven Emery. Haven Emery is a graduating senior at Lover's Lane United Methodist Church, where she lives out her love for God and for others through service and invitation in all she does. Haven serves in as many places as she can and has expressed her experience of the love of God in powerful ways while doing so. She volunteers at Scottish Rite Hospital in the Dyslexia Center and Orthopedic Inpatient Unit, welcoming children and making them feel at ease by just playing with them while they are waiting for treatment. Haven serves over 150 hours each year with Lover's Lane UMC Ray of Light Respite Program, offering individual care and attention to children with special needs and their siblings. She leads within her church by helping coordinate mission, missions, worship, student activities, VBS, confirmation, Sunday school, and small groups. She is also a leader in the North Texas Conference Council on Youth Ministry. Haven is, has a passion for Jesus that has become a passion for introducing others to Jesus as well, and is the epitome of what it means to be the good news of Jesus Christ to others. 
Haven is not able to join us today because she was chosen to attend a program at Asbury University, where I hear our distinguished keynote speaker, Dr. Phil Emerson, also attended. So she is there. Um, that's also the college she will be attending in the fall. And she is uh, working on a program there this summer called Youth Becoming Leaders. It's a Christian community experience that equips high school students for theologically guided living and decision. Haven is immersed this week in scripture, theological texts, tradition, and community to prepare her to lead and serve in a complex global society. Well done, Haven. Now let's hear a word from Haven's pastor, Reverend Saren Luganville. I nominated Haven for the Harry Denman Evangelism Award because Haven lives out her love for God and love for others through every aspect of her life. And she invites others to know and experience that same transformative love of Jesus Christ. One of the ways I have witnessed Haven live it out in her life is through her school. Haven founded a volunteer club at TAG, the School for the Talented and Gifted at Townview in Dallas called Students Embodying and Defining Service, or also known as SEEDS. This club encourages all students, no matter their faith or background, to learn to serve and to find ways to love others through service. And Haven recognizes that our need to serve others and to love people comes from God. And she helps others see that too. It's a powerful way for people to come to know Christ by serving and experiencing God's grace, by looking into the eyes of God's children. She's planting seeds of faith. Haven shares her faith with every aspect of her life, her compassion for others at school, her caring attitude at work, in the words of the songs that she writes, in the ways that she leads our church and conference and community. In a line from one of her latest songs, Find Faith, she sings, you call me to be more than I am. God is definitely calling and working through you, Haven. Thank you for setting an example for all of us by the ways that you love and serve, the things that you say and sing, the ways that you lean into and live out God's grace. Hi, my name is Cami Gaston, and I am the director for the Center for Leadership Development, and I'm here to give the award to the clergy, Harry Denman Award, and I want to talk to you a little bit about our recipient today. Reverend Derek Jacobs is going to be receiving this award. Uh, as, as was shared earlier in the report, the village moved into their church building during this pandemic time. They, they have been busy doing ministry in really powerful ways for nine years uh, as he under the leadership of, of Reverend Derek Jacob. And um, one of the things that, that I want to share with you about them is that they are a, a church that began with um, social media as part of their DNA. And so from the very beginning, when they were having their worship services, uh, they were already those who could go online very easily, and they adapted wonderfully well to this pandemic time. And during this time, as been shared earlier, um, they even reached folks that were in Chicago who became a part of their congregation. They served uh, using their new building and the, out in their parking lot uh, by offering blood mobile. They spent some time um, giving bags to young people to go to school uh, in their homes, so many things. And so today we wanna to celebrate the wonderful leadership and gifts of Reverend Derek Jacob. And I'd like to invite him to come up to receive this year's Harry Denman Award. He is a, a, a worthy, worthy thank recipient. Thank you. To the bishop and the cabinet and uh, all of my colleagues, in ministry and the laity, I just want to take this opportunity to just say thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the Village United Methodist Church uh, loved pastoring that congregation 
And I thank God for all of your love, your care, and your support. And I just know that the best is still yet to come. Thank Amen. you. We also give out the One Matters Award. And today I want to um, offer this award to a, a, a pastor that is full of energy, <laughs> that every time she's appointed anywhere, uh, goes and serves the people in such a deep and wonderful way. And so today's uh, recipient uh, of the One Matters Award is Reverend Melissa Hatch. This particular award came from Discipleship Ministries. It comes with a $1,000 gift to the church and for the award and a plaque. And uh, it is to, to uphold that church that went from zero professions of faith to at least one. And in this case, it went from zero to nine because of her gift and wanting to invest in the young people of the church, bringing out nine new professions of faith through confirmands who now know in a deeper way how to serve, how to love God, and how to be in ministry with everyone. Melissa, will you come up and receive the One Matters Award? Thank you so much for your service. <laughs> And this concludes our awards. So at this time, I'm going to ask that uh, the presentation of William B. Oden Ecumenical Award. So Cheryl Murphy, who is the chair of the Commission on Christian Unity and Religious Concerns. Yes, and one of our responsibilities is to present the Bishop William B. Oden um, Award, and we are grateful to be here to do that. Um, this award began in 2014 in Bishop Oden's name, reflecting his passion for interfaith dialogues and relationships. Throughout this faithful work of Should bringing our differences, we constantly are reminded as much as we have differences we also can find common ground with others. In this COVID pandemic season, we have been um, all innovative and creative in many ministries, but our committee found two ministries that went above and beyond this year. The first is Reverend Richie Butler, founder of Project Unity and creator of Together We Test. It began last spring. Reverend Butler and his team set up and operated COVID testing sites in five churches and shopping centers. They tested over 7,000 people. They also moved into hosting vaccination centers to the underserved communities. Greenland Hills United Methodist Church has a rich history of outreach and working with others. Their partnership with a local a Lutheran church has been impacting their neighborhood with programs like groceries for families, um, breakfast for neighbors without housing, and assisting in vaccinations. Reverend Carrie Smith and the laity continue to be creative in impacting their neighborhoods with great hope and working with others. Both of these ministries have faithfully served their neighbors during this liminal season by working with others and impacting their community. We look forward to reaching out to the North Texas churches this next year to suggest how you may creatively find programs yourself that will bring others into ministry with you. We wanna congratulate Reverend Butler and Reverend Smith. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let me just... <laughs>